Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Communicate with clarity. Communication with others, communicate with others as clear as you can be to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. If all humans would communicate with impeccability of the word, all our relationships would change. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 221, NASDAQ off 122, S&P's off 25, gold contract up $3.80, trading at 1788 an ounce. We have silver up 13 cents, $22.29 an ounce. Light sweet crew down 36 cents, $71.31 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 14 ticks, trading 130.27. The 30 year up a full point plus five ticks at 162.15 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 204 ticks, trading out at 96.300. Euro is 112. Yen is at 113.52. And the British pound is at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so from highs to lows out here, first look at the SPY. So we have with the SPY out here, there she is. We had a high out here today of a price point of uh, 470.56. You come down all day, you're at 466. 466. 468. Uh, that being said, guess what? Friday, uh, we went up with 77 million. Today, you're backing down with 49. Now, what we also have here, folks, is this. Now, this is this is gets. If you understand the out of time in the trade and the ABC structures, whether they're going up or down, this is a really close call. And what and what it is is this. And yeah, let me put this up because this is pretty cool, man. This is cool understanding it, at least. And since we're in the probability business, the S&P, the SPY, the S&P, very well could be in an ABC structure on the way up. And this is why this one's a tough one to basically, you know, technical analysis, bottom line, you know, it's a probability type of deal. It's not, you know, one of these deals that's a black and white deal. And what you have here is this, is that we have a B point. That was, you know, well, first off, the A point on this is the, the low that was established on the, uh, the 3rd of December. That's at 448.92. Then you go up to the top at 470. We come down one day, and then on Friday, you actually took out the B point with volume. Now, this is where the problem comes in. When, when something is this close, you know, normally I would take the, the day before it. The day before it is 95 million versus how we took it out with 77 million. Okay, so that, that's where the question really comes in, is that, okay, is it really an ABC up? And if you do read the out of time in the trade, this would not be a confirmed ABC structure on the way up because of the fact that when you have two spots that are so close and one of them has a higher volume, I always like to take the higher volume. That being said, you want to pay attention to this because we're pulling back with light volume right now, man. So... This is telling me if we pull back again with light volume tomorrow, that's telling me we got an ABC structure on the way up. I, I know that sounds, you know, just like, okay, well, how, why would that be? Because what you have, folks, is that if you do not have sellers, okay, um, the bottom line is that this thing wants higher price. You know, my take is we're still going to test the highs. So we'll see where the baby shakes out. That's in, in the S&P. And that would be one of the deviant moves that the market could take. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs have a different setup. You know, the bottom line, um, the three Qs, they had volume on uh, Thursday, but then they came down on Friday with volume. Now, watch what you're doing here. We came down on Friday with volume. And then what ends up happening, the, the bottom line, is that we come down today with lighter volume. If the if the Qs don't do 52 million today, that's saying that hey man, you know yeah we might think that the Qs need a rest right now. And my take is that we're still in a much larger, you know, ABC structure. Not that we're going to get down to that consolidation of 350 in the Qs. That's that's where my head's at with this period. No matter what happens, but looking at this, this is this is pulling back with light volume. So the bottom line is that, you know, 
you, you want to pay attention to it because we definitely are going to it's going to be intriguing to see what is in the statement you know uh gold out here today gold is higher but needs a lot more volume that that's the re that's the real bottom line um we only have a hundred thousand contracts out there today you're up 370 needs more volume we go over to the dollar index the dollar is not telling us much either Do the dollar is doing what gold is doing the dollar has been going sideways for two weeks and the fed will move the dollar there's no doubt there's no doubt um, so we'll see where this baby's going to go because uh, my take on the dollar, well, my take on gold is we're going to 1825. My take on the dollar is that it wants to come back to the breakout area. That breakout area is 94,500. And right now you're at 96,303. Some of the higher volume equities that we have, well, here, let, well, let's, if we go over to the, let's go take a look at the note and bond market because there's no doubt the Fed moves the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market and what you have the 10 year note. You're up 14 ticks, half a point. Now, this is not a lot of volume, though. Uh, the 10 year should be doing, when you're up like this, the 10 year really should be doing like 1.7 to 2 million contracts, and you're only at 779 contracts, 779,000 contracts. Uh, you have the wide price spread, though, so that's telling me that the, the 10 year wants to run to this 131.16, and we'll see if it uh, continues to have juice uh, up at that level. The way this is trading out right now, um, it looks to me like there's not going to be any, like, moves that are really going to destroy the market uh, before the end of the year. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's the, that's the way this seems to be setting up. Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is taking, taking it on the shoulder, uh, taking it on the chin out here today. You got uh, Bitcoin right now. We're at 46,949. And, you know, my, my Bitcoin looks to me like it's going to 39,000. You know, we'll see whether I can handle it. It, it did that dip. The dip. When the dip came down, it came to, it came to 42,000. You swing down there, though, it's 39. And there's not much support down there at 39, but we'll see how it shakes out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.